anybody who is joining, I know, I know, they are very young. I know, very young when you when you, you know, when you're being a part of a pageant. I know, of mm. course, you talk to your parents, you talk to your friends. Uh, some might haven't talked to their friends or their parents. I know. Mm. What do you like to go ahead and say to them? Not just from Miss Universe Nepal, I know. To pageant ko to to atma ko niyoni pukdai na alay Nepal ma. I know. Kadi san kadi san pageant taro. I know. To young big ti le zali sahi mo beauty pageant ma zana sochi rasu ani. I know. Ule timi le kima so. Mm. What would you like to go ahead and say to them? Unsani, what are the things that they need to remember? Mm. You you have to remember that you have to remember that you have to So, what do you want to say? And then I'll come to, to you. To the parents? Or no, to the potential people who want to uh, participate in beauty pants. <laughs> Men or women. Mm. I think I would tell them to start with a research first. Because obviously there are so many competitions that happens in Nepal, outside of Nepal as well. Uh, especially major competitions or Majid Nabaibane, you get an opportunity to represent your country. So first thing is research. Research about all the competitions that happens outside of Nepal as well. Local competition, research about it. Where is it going to take you? after that, Manira. Or what does that pageant signify? For example, uh, international Miss Universe is so much different than Miss World. You know? Some people, some girls, they are more, they can relate more to Miss World. Right? Some can relate more to Miss Universe. Some can relate more to being an international or Earth. You know? So that really gives you a clear idea about where you want to go. Because people come and ask me, Didi, where should I go? Miss Universe, I'm going Miss Nepal. Where do you see yourself? You, do you see as a Miss Universe co, uh, competition? Ma? So make do a research. Miss World goes to stay, or Miss Earth goes to stay, or international, supranational, grand international, grand international, but even Naya competition, this matter, you have to be really loud and everything. So if that's your personality, go for that. I know. First thing is research. On this, which you don't expect to come to a competition without any preparation, with hopes to learn everything in just three months or one month. If you want to compete in a competition like Miss Universe Nepal or Miss World or Miss Earth or any other local competition as well, you need to prepare. I didn't just jump into, uh, you know, uh, let's say 2012 Miss Nepal. Ma. I prepared myself for so many years. I did my research. I prepared myself to actually speak. Never, you know, shy person, but I prepare myself to speak. So always prepare. Next thing is always come prepared mentally as well. Haina? Mentally say, um, you have to know that it's a competition. There's going to be a lot of challenges, a lot of pressure as well. A lot of early kutsamana mata chan. It's social media is so uh, like, uh, prominent, like sabi kura social media mazansa. And there's going to be a lot of good messages. There's going to be a lot of bad messages as well. So you need to really, really, really be prepared that this is going to happen, Manira. You know, people are surprises, people are stressed out. Anxiety. Mm. So if you're mentally prepared that there's going to be pressure, there's going to be challenges, there's going to be a lot of bullshit that will go around in social media, um, good things as well. So you can actually handle it. Mentally, say you really need to be strong. And in competition, say we have no competition, I say no weight criteria, but I always prioritize fitness. Weight criteria, you got to be fit. So if you're competing for a competitions like a Miss Universe, like a Miss Nepal, or like any other competitions, try to look fit, presentable. You know? Doesn't need to be, you can be any weight. You can be curvy, you can be anything. Mm -hmm. But fitness, why I'm saying this is, it's not just for the stage. Because, you know, when you are fit, you feel fit, physically, mentally. We all, we both start our day by exercising. It really, you know, energizes us yeah, yeah. for the whole day. So I would tell them to exercise. Physical exercise, mentally you got to be prepared. And um, another thing is try to surround yourself with people who will motivate you and support you. Try to throw out the negativity out from your life. 
I know. I think these are the these are maybe the kickstarters for competitions. Um, besides that, there are many things that uh, goes uh, along the way. You know? And orko kura say people always ask me. So the organization take care of everything. Man, so it's like like then cost ko kura dehre ne aunsa is matay. So another heads up is. Yes, we do take care of majority of the things, but that is uh, for the close camp especially, and for when the winner is selected, and then the special grooming side we take care of it. But before that, say there will be some sort of expenses. Don't expect that it's gonna be all free, Banera. But having said that, you don't have to spend your money. You can find sponsors. You can use the same outfit. In a different way, you can buy only one or two shoes and use it for different outfits. So, any, so you gotta be really smart in how you use it, so that it's like properly uh, expenses money managed by. So there are multiple things that you have to take care of. If you love what we are doing, make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you very much for watching us on YouTube. Make sure that you also listen to us on Spotify. This program is brought to you by. Via Studios.